life. Many of us have heard that statement, especially ball players like myself, and we all know what the definition means. It means pretty much basketball becomes life when you want to play at a high level, take it seriously, and compete. And that is 100% true when it comes to really excelling at basketball and being the best player you could be. Ball has to become life. You got to do it. You got to think about it. You got to eat basketball, sleep basketball. I remember when I was focusing on playing at the college level, I remember waking up in the morning thinking about basketball throughout my day. Basketball will be on my mind about where I see myself in the future when it comes to that sport, what I was doing. Then when it came to a nighttime, I would do a little bit more work when it comes to basketball, so just researching it and learning different things about the game. And I even slept with a basketball on my bed a few nights. So ball is life for players that are absolutely serious about ball. But another statement that I started to think about recently is ball reflects life. Because the game of basketball is very similar to the reality of life. So let me explain. On a basketball court, there are certain things that happen on the basketball court that you do and don't have control over that also happen in your life. See, basketball is a team sport. And in order for us to live and go through our lives, we do have people around us in our lives. So we do have a team in a sense. We're not 100% solely the reason we are where we are. We do have help from different people throughout our lives, like family members, friends, could be a boss, coworkers, people that you know that know someone else that puts you onto them. So just how like basketball is a team sport and you need a good team around you to be successful in basketball, life also requires you having a good group of people surrounding you in order for you to be a successful and have a great fulfilling life. You know, you can't have a great fulfilling life alone. You obviously need great people around you and the help from people around you. Just like in basketball, you need a great successful team and teammates around you to, for you to have the most success in basketball. Another thing how basketball is relates to life is that there's so many ups and downs throughout the basketball game. There's certain times in the game where you are feeling better, we have your energy, you have more stamina, things are working out for you. Other times throughout the game, things aren't working out for you or it could be in different games. Sometimes you have some games where things go well, other times you have games where things go bad. Just like in life, we have days where things go well, days where things go bad. At different points throughout the day, things could be going well, you could be on the roll, and out of nowhere, you can get a setback. Same thing happens in basketball, and that's another reason how basketball is related to life. Other reasons how basketball is related to life, I know sometimes during a basketball game, you feel like you can do everything right, and you don't get the result you want. And what do I mean by that? That means executing a play or doing everything you can do to get yourself the best opportunity to score the ball, which is the point of basketball is to score more points than the other team. So sometimes I've been in situations where I did everything right, I got an open shot or ended up getting to the rim and you miss. In life, things like that happen all the time. Sometimes you meet the right person or you prepare for an event or a presentation or you study in school, you do all the right work to get your degree and then you go to interview to finally get that job and things don't work out. So when it comes to basketball, I kind of like to look at both scenarios, both situations and see how they're related. So when things don't work out, I try to use what I would do during a basketball game to really overcome what happens in my life at the same time, if that makes sense. 
So in life, when things don't work out, you gotta readjust, take a step back. And the best thing and the most important thing you can do is just focus on doing everything right that you can do in that moment. And sometimes it won't work out, sometimes it won't work out, but you still keep doing it. You're getting better every time you try and eventually you will succeed. Sometimes you may not succeed, but that could be because it's not really the right thing for you. Some people, they can shoot a lot of threes or try to do a lot of the same thing over and over again that they're not good at and they may expect a different result, but sometimes it doesn't end up working out that way. Another way basketball reflects life is when you're surrounded by great teammates, it forces you to get better. Just like in life, when you look for mentors or people to add to your circle that are actually successful, that motivate you, it will in turn force you to work harder to do better to get on their level. And another reason how basketball relates to life is that sometimes you're gonna have an audience. The audience may boo you during the course of a game or cheer for you during the course of a game. So even in life, you have people that are supportive of you, cheering for you, want you to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing. And you also have people that are booing you or are against you and just plain don't like you for who you are. And they're showing you that. Another reason how basketball relates to life is you have people who are naturally talented at certain things on the basketball court, such as Russell Westbrook, who's a talented point guard physically, and he's much quicker than a lot of other point guards at his position. So when other people guard him, they have a disadvantage against him when it comes to his speed when both players are running and things like that. Or like Shaquille O'Neal, which is naturally big and strong when he's going against other centers, they're not going to be able to match his strength, you know, when it goes to strength against strength, but they may have to use other of their natural talents and abilities to compete with him. Same thing goes for life. We have people who are naturally smarter in certain subjects in school or just better at just getting things or visualizing things, which makes them great visionaries. You also have people who are just better at art or understanding music, things like that. Some people are better at using what they're naturally talented at to succeed, while others don't bother or pay as much attention to what they're talented to and use it to really help themselves succeed. And one of the last things that I always think about how basketball relates to life is that you win sometimes and you lose sometimes. Some games you're gonna win, sometimes things go well for you and your team and you end up getting the win. Sometimes things go well for your team, but not for you, and you still end up winning because you have a good supporting cast. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you do all the right things and you lose, or everybody plays terrible on your team, including you, and you don't win. When it comes to life, sometimes you get what you want by doing the right thing, or not doing the right thing that somehow seems to work out temporarily and at times things just don't work out and you have losses and setbacks in life as well so that's one of the reasons why i love basketball so much and how basketball is life but it's also basketball reflects life at the same time so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video